Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So late last month, I posted that the latest Google Chrome Canary release was now running natively on Windows 10 and Windows 11 computers with Qualcomm chips. So basically, those are the Windows on ARM devices. Now, I'll leave that video down below. But just to let you know now that if you are running Brave and have an ARM, Windows ARM device, then Brave, which is a privacy-focused browser, which is also based on Chromium, just like a Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge, has now launched a native version for Windows on ARM. So you can now run uh, Brave, the stable channel of Brave, with better performance and compatibility than it did have now on ARM devices with this latest update. So you don't have to use Chrome, just Chrome and Edge now. If you are using Brave, you can now use that as mentioned with better energy consumption, performance and compatibility on Windows on ARM. Now, you also, um, as the report says, you also get to enjoy the same features that were offered on the 64-bit and the 32-bit versions um, if you are using um, Brave on those versions of the OS. And I think the whole reason why this is happening is because of the coming... Um, basically the coalition of Microsoft and Qualcomm uh, in making Windows 11 now optimized for the Snapdragon X Elite ARM chipset, which as I've posted previously is expected to launch um, with the release of the next version of Windows, which we know now as Windows 11 version 24H2, which will be rolling out starting in September and October of this year. But nonetheless, just putting it out there, Brave is now supported natively um, on Windows on ARM, so if you are running an ARM device, you can now enjoy Brave a little bit better, if so. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.